Hello, welcome back. And this video is pretty important because I'm going to show you how you can actually extract the text content from Element. Unfortunately, there is uh, no function for this in Puppeteer, but there is an easy way to do it. So let me show you. Let's say that we are here on the example.com and if we actually inspect, you can see that this h1 element has a value of example domain. And now you want to basically grab that text and later maybe you want to call an assertion on that, but you don't know how to do it. So you need to use Puppeteer. So it's very simple. And you know, let's go down here and let's create new, let's say variable and let's say text, for example. And as typically we need to call a page function, so await page dot, but now I need to use evaluate or eval function. So we need to type dollar sign eval like this. And first argument to this function is selector. And in our case, it's h1. And the second is basically a callback function or promise, which will do something with that element. So let's say we have an element and we call a callback function and we want to get element that text content just like this and save it. And that's it. Now let's also try to actually visualize the value. So I'm going to console.log text in the h1 plus text and let's now run the test and as you can see the value is example domain so our test was successful and as you can see it's actually pretty easy all you have to do is follow the same formula Let's create some variable where you actually want to store the text. Then you call page evaluate function. And first argument is selector. In our case, it's the h1. And then it's a callback function. And we need to specify what we want to basically return. In our case, we want to return the text contact from the element, which was basically selected here. And then we store it into the variable. And then we can work and do anything we want with that value. It's pretty much the same as a title or URL. And in the next video, I'm going to show you very similar way, but not how to extract text content, but how to extract the count of the given element. So let's say if there is a scenario where you need to verify the number of, let's say, lists items on the page, you will be able to use that function to make the count and then use assertion to make sure that the count is correct. So I think that's it and let's continue in the next video.